All right, everyone, the time is here. We have our collaboration announcement, and it is Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex 2045. Many of you won't know what that is. I didn't know what that was. I knew about Ghost in the Shell, but I had not read or seen or heard anything about Standalone Complex 2045. Um, I knew about Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. I had even watched a few episodes a while, while, while back about Ghost in the Shell. And of course, there was the movie not too long ago um, in the Western sphere about Ghost in the Shell, the live action, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And today, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Now, we have a new promo code, Ghost in the Shell. So let's go ahead and drop that in uh, to the game. And while we're here, if any of you are not going to save for this event and you decide to purchase summons right now and use them on SIF, be sure to use the link in the description down below. Go to Aptide, get your up to 20% off. It's going to help you out a lot. We're going to talk about Ghost of the Shell a little bit in here and really figure out what this means because they gave us a date for the actual event. But first, we got to put in the code here. Let's see what we get. 888 diamonds. I don't know if that's a reference or something. I have no idea. Um, but uh, they gave us a date here. September 28th. Four days after my birthday, by the way. Fun fact. Um, in about a month, we're going to get this. And that means that, well, you got a little bit of time to save up. I definitely recommend that you do save, as I mentioned, these summons, uh, save your energy, save your diamonds, whatever you can for this event. Get a nice stockpile because usually these collab events are very, very aggressively pushed in terms of rewards and value or the characters themselves, obviously, because they want their promotional, I guess, campaign to help out the Ghost in the Shell series. But I figured, you know what, since uh, I didn't know too much about it, most of you probably wouldn't. So I just did a quick Wikipedia search here. And uh, well, as I mentioned earlier, this is a kind of like sub theme with Ghost in the Shell because Ghost in the Shell, it's got so many different series and the standalone complex here, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex, multiple seasons. And well, this is kind of the one that I knew of. This is the one that I remembered. This is the one that most people know of when they think Ghost in the Shell. This was back in 2002, so quite some time ago. But uh, the Standalone Complex 2045, this is the pro promotional poster for that, um, which is, I don't know, a lot different, just way different from uh, what I had expected. And, well, it seems like the theme or the plot or the premise, I guess it says, it's about 11 years after the events of Solid State uh, Society, which is a separate series in the standalone complex series, I guess. I don't even know what you describe these. And then it says, after an economic disaster known as the simultaneous global default, which destroyed the value of all forms of paper and electronic currency, there's a big four nations of the world engaged in a state of never ending sustainable war to keep the economy going. Uh, and then the public security section nine have contracted themselves out as mercenaries under the group ghost using the cybernetic enhancements and battle experience to earn a living while diffusing hot spots across the globe. So, I guess in terms of characters, Matoko, Batu, I don't know if I'm saying these right. These are characters that we can kind of potentially expect, right? Now, uh, this is like a pretty key character for what I remember in The Ghost in the Shell. I believe she's like the main character for all the different series, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Um, if I go down to characters here, uh, is there is there some sort of characters that I can look in, into? But 
I guess just tells you about Motoko or Motoko. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, she's the main protagonist in Ghost in the Shell manga and anime series. She looks a lot different in this, right? I didn't even notice that that was the same person as, uh, I guess, this. So there you go. Um, we also have this guy. I, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> uh, to talk about some of these characters when you know basically nothing. But this is the type of characters that we're getting. I'll have to do some more research and try to figure out what kind of classes these guys might fit into. Obviously, the kind of main character, um, if we click on Public Section Security 9, or Public Security Section 9, uh, there's going to be a couple of characters within this group. And so we could kind of expect a lot of these various different characters in this group to kind of be potential options for the new collaboration. Um, I guess here's an example of what they kind of look like. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it just, it, it, it's, it's just out of left field, I guess is, is kind of my tone here. Um, this is just not something that I really expected at all. I didn't know that Ghost in the Shell was still like this extremely prominent thing. I don't even know if it is, but I, I just didn't I, didn't, I didn't expect Ghost in the Shell. I don't know what to say. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know much about it. Uh, so I'm gonna do some research and come back to you all, see what kind of potential characters we can get. But I figured I'd drop a video and just talk about it, go through some of the Wikipedia stuff. I've already gone through all this stuff, just kind of looking through it and, and, and looking at some of the characters, some of the designs, seeing what type of art we could potentially get. Now, if you look at the Discord, it is SAC 2045. So it is specifically the SAC 2045 series, which is this one. It is not like your traditional Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. It's not your traditional Ghost in the Shell. It is this specific series, which is pretty important because they have a specific art style that is more like 3D animations. Kind of reminds me of like, I don't, I don't want to like flame this, but I don't know. I just don't really like the art here at all. Like I, I'm not a huge anime fan, but I definitely prefer the traditional anime like style of a lot of these other series versus um, what we got going on here. So I'm not sure what to think. <laughs> uh, I am excited mainly for the event. I'm not necessarily excited because Ghost in the Shell, being completely honest here, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat this. I don't, I don't really care about Ghost in the Shell to be honest. If any of you do, let me know. Maybe this is really exciting for you all. That's totally cool. But I was hoping for something that I was personally excited about. But I am excited about the event because, as I said earlier, the collaboration events usually are something pretty good. They have a lot of options to do here to, to, to like bring back maybe even Northion during this time. They could bring a really, really insane character, a group of characters, maybe a whole class. I don't know. But one thing's for sure is uh, it doesn't seem like this is a very popular series based on kind of all the feedback I've seen. And, and this paragraph kind of sums it up. The first season premiered exclusively on Netflix in 2020, uh, 2020 uh, April, which I had no idea about. It received generally negative reviews and it is just inferior to the previous Ghost in the Shell. And uh, the second season also received kind of the same reviews. So I, I, I... <laughs> I don't want to say you're be like toxic or anything. I just tell you all what, what it's kind of about. Again, this is all just stuff I've learned off the bat. This could be completely just trash information. Um, I'm just sharing my thoughts of like some like 10, 15 minute, like uh, cliff notes type research here. It's, it's definitely not like in-depth stuff because it, the announcement just came out like an hour ago. So that's kind of what we got, but uh, I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that. And uh I'm curious to hear what you all have to say. Are you excited about this? Are you going to be potentially excited about purchasing stuff for this new collaboration? Um, are you more just concerned about the characters and the events? Or does the actual IP matter to you? One thing I will say before I end the video is 
getting a good IP could potentially have brought a lot of new players and new exposure to the game. I don't necessarily think that this is going to do that. If we had gotten, you know, like a bigger IP or something that's more notable, like there are a lot of series that I know about just because I do keep up with some of the more popular culture type things, but this is not one of them. And uh, that's not necessarily a good thing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you off in the next one. <laughs>